Adventure Trail. It's time to follow Adventure Trails with Pappy Boyington. Colonel Boyington, the famous adventurer, war ace, and leader of the intrepid Black Sheep Squadron of the Marine Corps, has another story to tell. Pappy, the other day you showed me a letter you said started you out on one of your strangest and most exciting adventures. You were going to tell me the story when you got the phone call to report to the air terminal right away. I'm still anxious to hear it. Well, Howard, some time ago, my nephew Ted Mason and I were visiting an old friend and former flying instructor of mine at his home in San Antonio, Texas. Another cup of coffee, Pappy? No, thank you, Mrs. Davis. Anything else you'd like, Ted? How about another piece of apple pie? Oh, I, I know it's impolite to ask, but that pie sure was good, so... All right, uh... you sit right there. I've got another piece of pie I saved especially for a fine boy who appreciates my cooking. I'll get it for you. Dan, just in case you don't know it, you really got a wonderful wife there. <laughs> I think so. Oh, by the way, here's a letter that came for you today, Pappy. Oh, who's it from, Pappy? It's from Randy Hill. You remember Randy, don't you? A skinny, red-headed kid in our gang that used to talk about using a plane to prospect for gold? He got a sliver of shrapnel through his leg in Munda, and the last I heard, he was in the hospital at San Diego. Seems like he's okay now, where he's back at his old game of mining. This letter is from Santa Teresa, Mexico. I'll read you part of his letter. I've just run across a clue to a rich silver mine. It's called the Mine of the Parrot. How about coming down here and helping me locate the strike? Looks good from here, and I could certainly use some company out in that wild country. I'll be waiting for you or your reply at the Prospectors Club in Santa Teresa. There's a small landing field just south of town, but be careful of the power line if you come in from the east. <laughs> what are you going to do? As if I didn't know. That's right. That guy, Randy, may need some help in that territory he's going into. Besides, I never owned a silver mine. Well, what about Ted? You know he's welcome to stay here with us until you get back. Why, Ted wouldn't miss the trip for anything, would you, Ted? Ah, oh, you know I wouldn't. This isn't going to be a picnic. It's going to be tough, plenty tough. Still want to go? Are you kidding? We'll pack tonight and take off early tomorrow morning. Dan, I hope you don't mind if we take a rain check on our visit. I hate to run out like this. But we'll continue our visit when we get back and have a lot more to talk about. I know. Oh, boy, don't I wish I were going with you. But with Martha and the flying school and all that. I wish you were, too. The more the merrier. Won't be long now. We should be setting her down here at Santa Teresa Field in a few minutes. Yeah, those adobe villages look funny from the air. The people didn't bother to lay out straight streets, did they? That's largely because of the terrain. Many of the mountain villages are built on the old, narrow trails that were cut or worn into the mountainside. Too much trouble building straight streets on those hills. According to our map, that last village should be Pico Blanco. Oh, you weren't kidding when you said we were going into some rough country. Just look at those peaks. There's also very little water here. The few green places you see are watered by subterranean streams. Every one of the plantations have to be irrigated. Well, I hope Randy is waiting for us and has a map or whatever it is that gives the location of the silver mine. Mine of the Parrot. <laughs> that's a funny name. There's probably a reason for that unusual name. Say, that's quite a town up ahead. That's Santa Teresa. There's the landing field. Doesn't look to be a very busy place. One small hangar, three planes on the field. That's a sweet green job, that twin motor transport. It belongs to the Mexican Interstate Airlines. I didn't know the company made Santa Teresa. Must be a chartered flight. Probably some big government official making his rounds. We'll soon know. There's that power line. We don't have to worry about it. The wind's from the south. After we landed, Ted and I inquired and found our way to the Prospector's Club, where Randy Hill was to meet us. Here's the club. Phew. I certainly wanted to give the members their exercise building it up on a hill like this. Think of the view. Where else could you see so much desert? I wonder if the room clerk can give us any information. Oh, buenos dias. Can I help you, senores? I hope so. I'm looking for a senior Randolph Hill. Oh, senior Hill. Oh, see, he was here but, but really three days ago. 
He no say where he go, but but he leave a message for someone. Perhaps a message was for me. I'm Gregory Boynton. Oh, Senor Boynton? Oh, it's verdad. <laughs> I will get the letter. I see. That is the name. Uh, w- would you please mind to write your name on this piece of paper? Well, certainly. Here it is. See? See, the handwriting is the same. Uh, you see, Senor Haley he gave me this signature from a letter you write to him. And tell me to be careful. The wrong man do not get this message. Hey, we better read this letter later. Looks like we have company. That fat man at the end of the desk is all ears. I wonder who he is. Probably some mining man wondering who we are. Oh, clerk, how about a room for tonight? Oh, see, si. see, si, I have for you a nice room. From the window, you can see all the way to Monte Margaritas. Yeah, I'm sure you will like it. Fine. We'll wash up now and get something to eat. Well, it is too late for dinner now here, senor. Yeah, but there is a good restaurant in Cantina down the street. It is the Pajaro Verde, and the food is very good. Thanks. Now, where's my room? Oh, room 200, Senor Boynton. Uh, up the stairs. Well, I will show you. You see, my room boy, is very lazy. He, he never here when I want him. Well, what's hurry? I'm anxious to know what's in the message Randy left for us. Clark, who was that fat man that was in the lobby while we were at the desk? He acts as if he's very interested in us. Oh, I do not know him. He arrived this morning on a plane, but, but he has no register in his place. Hey, look. He's looking at the register to see who we are or what room we have. Looks rather suspicious to me. Okay. I'll appoint you a committee of one to keep an eye on him and see that he doesn't bother us. Oh, well, he may be all right, but well, I'll keep my eyes open just the same. Remember, we're looking for a lost silver mine. He may be out to find it, too. Ah, here is your room, senor. Yeah, I will open the windows for you. Thank you. Well, Ted, here's where we solve the mystery of the disappearing miner. As soon as Pancho here gets out of our hair. Cinco pesos? Oh, gracias, senor, gracias. Ah, at last. I can hardly wait. Dear Greg, I waited for you as long as I dared. Another party is trying to find the mine, and they're hot on my trail. Someone took a pot shot at me the other night, and this morning some of my best pack mules were stolen. I'm leaving you a crude map showing the way I'm heading out of here. I'm not going to Soledad Canyon and double back to Perdido Canyon to throw the followers off my trail, I hope. Follow the trail into Perdido Canyon until you come to the little creek. Then follow the creek upstream to Escondada Lake. I will be in a cave at the north end of the lake. Don't lose any time in Santa Teresa. Whoever is on my trail may suspect something and have agents follow you. I hope you get this message and are able to find me. Your old friend, Randy. Hey, well, we'd better get started as soon as possible, hadn't we? We'll see about hiring a couple of horses and a pack mule tonight when we go out to eat. We should be able to get away just before dawn so no one will see us. Let's get washed up now and see how the food is down at the Pajaro Verde. Looks like a nice place. At least we have music with our meal. Say, this is all right. Uh-oh, look who's heading this way. Your fat friend of the club. Looks like he's making it easy for you to keep an eye on him. Very easy. He's coming towards our table. Uh, pardon, pardon me for barging in like this, but I like to meet my fellow Americans. Uh, one gets pretty lonesome in a godforsaken hole like this one. Uh, mind if I join you? No, not at all. I'm Gregory Boynton. This is my nephew, Ted Mason. Oh, Boynton, eh? Well, I've heard of you. Uh, do quite a bit of flying, don't you? Yes, uh, I'm Grant, uh, Walter Grant, North American Mining Company out of Los Angeles. Uh, sorry I missed you at the club, but you seem to be in a hurry to get washed up. Uh, we could have had quite a chat. <coughs> uh, are you interested in the mining business, Mr. Boynton? No, Ted and I just stopped off to see an old friend of mine. We'll be flying on to Mexico City in a few days. Oh, see. I uh, couldn't help seeing that you received a message at the club. Uh, could it be that your friend is not in Santa Teresa now? No, I'm seeing him tomorrow morning. Just why are you so interested? Yeah, well, uh, you see, uh, well, I'm here on a business mission. Uh, there's a lot of untapped mineral wealth in the mountains near here. I thought you might be interested in a little flying job. Yeah? And just what kind of a job? Oh, well, perhaps you'd like to fly me over the Sierra Morena toward Los Alamos. I'd be able to spot any outcropping that might contain gold or silver. Uh, interesting? Perhaps. I'll have to let you know later, after I see my friend. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, well, I'll uh, get back to my hotel. I have a lot of reports to get out. There's so much red tape in this business, you know. <clears throat> yeah, by the way, I'd... Uh... I'd rather you didn't mention it to anyone that you talked with me. You see, um, there are certain parties who are trying to prevent my discovering any strikes in this territory. 
Yes. Well, uh, as they say down here, um, when us notice. Well, what did I tell you? I'll bet he's trying to find out if we're connected with Randy. I wonder what he meant by those certain parties. I hope he doesn't try to follow us. Did you notice how nervous he was and how he twisted his cigarette while he was smoking it? Yes. We'll be careful he doesn't find out too much about us. We've got to find some horses tonight so we can get off early. Yeah. Hey, perhaps the clerk at the club can tell us where we can get horses. We can try. Might as well get a reliable guide, too. Well, here we go, mountain climbing again. Next time, I'll bring my walking stick. I expect to see a St. Bernard bringing us relief any time now. Oh, stop complaining. Say, isn't that our room there on the south corner of that building? Yeah, the room with the view. Hey, did you see that? There's a light in the room. We didn't leave any lights on. The light's moving. Looks like a flashlight. Somebody's searching our room. Let's go. Yeah. Who was the mysterious person searching the room, and for what was he searching? I wonder if Pappy and Ted found out, or if they were delayed in reaching their room. How about it, Pappy? I'm sorry I can't tell you about it today, for the time is up. But we did have quite a surprise and an unusual clue ahead of us. Tomorrow I'll tell you more about what happened to us on our adventure of The Mine of the Parrot. (laughs) Tune in tomorrow, same time, same station, and follow Pappy Boyington along Adventure Trails.